Hi everyone, it's Cindy Lawrence for Split Coast Stampers. I'm here with a simple tutorial for you today on how to make a ruffled ribbon border around a basic shape. I used Flourish's Spring Has Sprung stamp set and stamped and colored my image and then I die cut it with a classic oval nestability die. You could use any basic shape that you like. Um, and then I just simply flipped it over and attached my ribbon. Now I already have a second piece attached here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do. First of all, you're going to need some um, strong adhesive. Um, you can use score tape, sticky strip, red line tape, whatever, whatever you have on hand. Uh, and then you're going to take your, your shape that you've already cut and you're going to just start attaching some strips of the tape around the edge. It's okay if it overlaps. You can always trim that up later. You just want to make sure you get real close to the edge. And one last piece here. Ooh, I'm stuck to the roll. Okay, just like that. And then Go ahead and peel off the backing, which is easier when it's not overlapping. There we go. Just like that. I love score tape because you can just rip it so easily. And I did use half inch score tape, really only because that's what I had on hand. You could use a, a narrower tape, like a quarter inch if you like, depending on what you're using for ribbon. There, and I just got that all folded over to the back. So now it's all nice and sticky. The next thing you're going to need is a ribbon. Um, any kind pretty much will work, uh, provided it's wide enough. If you use real narrow ribbon, it might be a little trickier to do, but it's possible. And all you're going to do is start anywhere, anywhere you like, and just kind of hold it down with your fingernail, make a little loop, and then press like so. You're going to just keep folding, folding and holding as you go around. And you're, you're probably going to stick to your piece a little bit as you go. So I'm just going to keep on going around like so. And you know what, if you're super picky, it will take you all day. So it's better if you're just quick and not so picky. I know, easy for me to say, I'm probably one of the most type A people on earth. <laughs> but I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so we're just gonna go around and around and around like so until you get it lined up the way you like. And the nice thing is, even though it's super sticky tape, you can pull it up and kind of play with it a little bit if you're not happy with how that's coming out. And you can turn it over and just kind of take a look at it and make sure it's going along the way you'd like. So you're going to finish that all the way around the whole thing. And once you do, you can either leave it and just, I like to go back and just give them a good press down into the rest of that tape there. And then I like to add another of the same shape that I used for the front onto the back. It just gives it a little bit more stability. Um, and it also hides hides the yuckiness even though you're not going to see it probably unless you're making something um, other than a card piece. So once I've got that done then I will have my completed uh, oval just like so and then I can attach it to a card. And here's the card that I chose to do. Let me see if I can zoom that in a little bit for you. Just like that. And there's that. And that's that pretty paper for the record from Echo Park as well. All right, and I have a little variation of this for you as well. I did another little card here. Um, this one right here. This is that same stamp set from Flourishes and some uh, pretty My Mind's Eye designer paper. Um, 
And this, all I did was ruffle just a little bit of the ribbon here. Instead of going around to shape, I just put sticky strip across between my two layers of designer paper. And then I just ruffle, ruffle, ruffle right over here just to add a nice little detail. Very simple, and it's not going anywhere because sticky strip or, or score tape is super strong. So that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed that super simple little tutorial, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.